Welcome back to a new video here as well. In this video, I'm gonna show how to track masks. And this is actually super easy. It just takes a little bit of time so that you can make it perfect. Now, in what situations can you use these or would you need to use this? Now, this works if you wanna cut or get rid of an object. That means something is in your scene and you didn't want it in there. Then also works if you wanna isolate these and make the background blurrier or change only the background and also works if you want to take the object completely out of the scene so that you can put it somewhere else just like in this case so let me just show you what you can do okay once you have your clip right here we're gonna use this as an example because it's not that complicated and it can actually track more easily because of the movement style but the more complex your camera movement of the footage that you have or the subject the more work and tweaking you will have to do okay what you want to do is you're gonna go to the color page and here we're gonna have to First of all, we can add an alpha output and then we can just connect these already if you want. This is an optional step. You can do this now or later. And then we will go here to the window section and we're going to use the pen tool. I think it's called pen tool here. No, it's called curve tool. Okay. If you want, you can just close this and get rid of that. And then this is the hard step. Now make sure you are in the first keyframe here. Otherwise, you will have to track backwards and then forwards. So make sure to do that. OK, now here is where you will just start drawing just like any other mask. And I'm just going to speed through these because it will be a really long video if I just keep it doing like these. After your mask is completely done like these, if you don't have the alpha background connected, it will just look like these and you will just see the micro here and it might not be perfect here but it's no big deal and then here if you want to already see just the black portion you can do that and if you check the highlights then you can see if you missed anything and that type of thing looking at your mask in this window in this view will help you to realize if you want to adjust a few of these values here like the softness of the mask and such so like if you sometimes it will just look too sharp so you want to soften it a little bit but if you do it too much, it will take away from the actual object that you're trying to mask. So just make sure to add those little details carefully and just make them subtle. OK, now after you have these ready, what you want to do is go here to the tracker here. All you have to do is go to this one and then press track forward. This will automatically follow the subject. Now, bear in mind that this one is super simple and easy because it doesn't have an actual movement. So like, for example, if you're doing this on a person that's moving their hand, then that will probably move and you will have to go back to like a certain keyframe, for example, and then you will have to like adjust the actual mask that you have. In order to save those changes that you might be doing, you are going to have to make sure to go here and create a keyframe for your corrector. So if you make any changes here, they are added as keyframe in here. Because then if we just put this normally, you will see how it moves. So yeah, so that's just what you have to do. And that is basically it. All you have to do is that create the mask, track it. And then if there's movement, you will have to adjust it and create the keyframes right here. So make sure to turn this on. And that means the corrector one. Now make sure that the mask is the only thing here because sometimes if you adjust other things like the highlight here, for example, it will also create a keyframe for that and you might not want to do that. So if you want to make other changes, what I would say to do is go to right here and then add a second node or add a serial. You can press command S or alt S and add a second one. And then you can simply add this one as a mask. And then you can add like, let's say the highlights here. And then you will not be creating any keyframes and still like being able to play around with the different values so that they follow through the whole section, right? So for example, here you can see the highlight is only applying to the camera because we have the tracker there and we can move these like that too. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope it helps and I hope that you enjoy it. And if you find it useful, make sure to like this video and I will see you in the next video here in Swabi. Bye.